Sam Pittman, the head hog, gets a brand new contract, a five-year extension, and I'm pretty excited for him. Like, this is a pretty big deal. And I love the way that they did this contract. Um, Sam Pittman, he is now signed through uh, December 31st, 2026, because this was uh, retroactive as of June fir- or January 1st of 2022. But uh, it can be extended additional years every time he wins seven games. This is the Kentucky model. And I love this. It sets the expectation relatively low. Now, if you go seven and five every year, yeah. they'll probably be looking for a way to get you out. But, uh, but he's up to $5 million a year in annual compensation. That's pretty good. Yep. Like, it's, it's not tip-top of the sport, but if you're going to be uh, paying your coordinators crazy money, you know, it's probably got to come out of the head coaching salary. Uh, you got to get it from somewhere. So, yeah, I like this. Like, you and I both love Sam, right? Yes, yes. And I wonder um, if Arkansas can keep that core three together, uh, that'd be unbelievable. And and the idea that Barry Odom has been a head coach before in the SEC and it didn't work out. Uh, usually, man, if those guys find a home and they find happiness, I, it's hard to plug them away from from that again. Uh, you know, so and that's, the Brawls that's name might just be tarnished just enough to keep Little Brawls in Arkansas. It's entirely possible, and and they may just they may enjoy it. It may be like Brent Venables, where. Yeah. You're at a place for a long time because you're the head coach of that side of the ball. You don't have to deal That's with right. all the media scrutiny and all the all the mess from the fans. And yeah. you're just happy where you are, right? Well, and you're compensated well. Like, yeah. like there's no G5 job in the country that's paying more than what these guys are making. There's no G5 job that was paying Brett more. Like, it's not like UAB can come call him one day and, you know, you're, you're, you're turning down money. So... You're just you're just you're literally leaving for a worse position, but you get the name head coach, right? And at some point in time, I just think some people don't care about titles. I, I've never been one to give a damn about titles. I just I just don't care. Doesn't no. matter to me. That's my way of thinking. Other people will gladly take pay cuts, but they want to be in charge. They want their name on top of the building. They want they you know they want everyone to know they're the ones that made all those decisions. I just don't. I, I think some guys are just wired to not care about that stuff. Yeah, I tend to agree with you. I tend to agree, and I think uh, I think several of them are at Arkansas right now. I, with what Barry Odom went through at Missouri, uh, with what well, Ken Browse went through, like, I, yeah, I'm with yeah. you. These guys have both been through some some kind of shit situations, and and they they see the ugly side of being on top. Exactly. Like, and not that Kendall Browse has ever been a head coach, uh, but what no, he went but through he, at he Baylor. Went through it all. With his dad. Exactly. And his dad's still going through it. Oh, yeah. His dad can't get an OC job with an HBCU. Which is just bananas. Just bananas. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe. And we'll see you soon.